Hey there, Damien here from Educate Fitness. Here today for another YouTube short covering the breakdown and absorption of food. This is what we're going to be covering today. Let's uh, let's get straight into it. This is a, actually this is a natural follow-on from the uh, the video short that we did around the uh, the digestive system. So this is the next step, if you like, the breakdown and the absorption of foods. So major food groups are broken down in different ways. It says here macros, carbs, fats, and proteins are broken down differently. Food is broken down at different points in the alimentary canal. And it's broken down by digestive enzymes, which are basically biological catalysts, which means they speed up the process of the breakdown of nutrients within the alimentary canal. So when it comes to carbs, as you can see here, the four enzymes, we've got amylase, sucrase, maltase and lactase. All right. And these are broken down into glycogen and then glucose. Now, don't worry too much about um, each one of these. So basically, these all catalyze different things into into sugars, into glucose. You know, they, they, they're part of the breakdown of sugar maltose and also lactose. Don't worry too much about the, uh, the details of these. Just focus on the enzymes. So for carbs, amylase, sucrase, maltase and lactase and this is all broken down into glycogen and then glucose and what is the use obviously carbs we use that for energy when it comes to fats the enzyme here is lipase or lipase or to be honest i'm not sure how you actually say that lipase sounds uh, sounds good to me if i'm saying it wrong apologies and this is broken down into fatty acids and glycerol, all right? Obviously with fats, what's the use of fats? We use it for energy and we use it for insulation. Finally, we've got protein. Now the two types of enzymes um, that, that, that are involved in the protein digestion, we've got pepsin and we've got peptidase, all right? These are broken down into peptide chains and then into amino acids. And the use here is the growth and the repair of tissue. All right, so as I say, just to finalize this and just to be clear, when we're looking at the enzymes used, don't worry too much about what they're doing, all right? They're catalyzing something, they're breaking something down, that's fine, that's all you need to know for level two gym instructing. But let's try and remember these. Carbs, amylase, sucrase, maltase, and lactase, all right? Broken down into glycogen, then glucose, and the use is energy. This is important. Fats, lipase is the enzyme, broken down into fatty acids and glycerol, which is then used for energy and insulation. And finally, protein, we've got pepsin, uh, pepsin and peptidase, which is broken down into peptide chains, then amino acids, and the use is growth and repair of our bodily tissues. All right, so that is the breakdown of the macronutrients. What I want to finish on here is discussing fiber and then a short word on the liver and also the pancreas, all right? Fiber first, because this is important. So, so fiber is a complex carb which can't be digested, all right? It's found in things like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and also cereals. The recommended, it's recommended that we eat 30 grams of, uh, of fiber each day because it is vital, you know, it's vital for the, uh, the, functional, uh, the functions of the digestive system, all right? And it helps the passing of waste. It includes good bacteria um, in the gut. And it also, um, it helps you feel fuller for longer, which means that you're going to get the sugar cravings, which means that you're going to, you know, you, you don't have to eat so often, which then reduces that risk of type 2 diabetes. And that basically is fibre. Next, we got liver. Liver. Next, we've got liver, excuse me. So liver is the body's largest internal organ. All right, and many of the functions of the liver relate to digestion, the digestive system, and also absorbing food. So features we've got here. So we've got bile secretion, which is vital for the breakdown of fats in the uh, in the small intestine. Another feature is the removal of nutrients. All right, so it removes it from uh, the bloodstream, 
the nutrients from the bloodstream and also a conversion um, of these nutrients. The liver also helps detox harmful substances from the body so that could be things like alcohol changes the alcohol into urea and then which is taken out of the body in our urine next we've got storage of vitamins and minerals and finally for removal of bacteria these are all the important features of the liver all right and five for us to remember just quickly go through them again file de uh, file secretion uh, bile secretion excuse me removal of nutrients detox of harmful substances, storage of vitamins and minerals, and removal of bacteria. Now, it might look like this was a bit of an afterthought, and it probably was. Uh, to be honest, I'll hold my hands up, we forgot about it. But for level two fitness instructing, we don't need to know too much about the pancreas anyway. But the main points here for the pancreas, what does it does? Well, it secretes digestive juices into the small intestine. All right, and the enzymes break down nutrients. It creates enzymes that break down nutrients. And that's it. That's all you need to know when it comes to the breakdown and the absorption of food. As we always say, get your head around this, understand it. Some of these questions will be part of your, of your online test or part of your workbooks. All right, these are the things that you need to understand, especially the uses, all right? you're a personal trainer or if you're a gym instructor, you need to know what carbs, fats and proteins are all about and how uh, the body breaks it down and absorbs uh, the food into energy, insulation or that material that will uh, repair and grow our bodily tissues. If you've got any questions or comments, please add them to the bottom of this video in the comments section. Subscribe to the, uh, the channel for all future videos. I'll see you on the next video. Catch out the, uh, sorry, check out the, uh, the digestive system video because that will help and it links in nicely with this. But in the meantime, I'll see you on the next one.